Kylian Mbappe still hasn't signed his contract at PSG. It turns out he's not going to. In fact, that's what all the rumours are stating. So this is an interesting situation because obviously we know that next year he'd be able to go on a free. But will PSG be happy with that, Jules? Wouldn't they rather, if they know he's going anywhere, try to get some money out of it? With, this, with what they spent for him especially? No, you're right. The, the thing is, they believe that even if he hasn't signed that extension, let's say the start of this season coming in August, they still believe that he might sign it in November or in December or even wait for January or February. He can, still, he can still sign it later or he can even wait like Messi in the current situation and, and go out of contract and then extend it back then. It's, it's hard to tell. They are adamant that he would not leave for free. That's what Nasser al is saying publicly, <laughs> privately, that they believe that even if it's a short-term deal, he will extend it because he, he, he would not want to live on a free and PSG would not let that happen. It's, it's easier to say than actually for it to be done because if you're Kylian, you're thinking, hang on a minute, I can, I can, if, if I'm free, I can go pretty much wherever I want. I can choose even and be very picky on where I want to go. I'll have a huge signing on fee, great commission for my dad yeah. and my lawyer, et cetera, et cetera. So it will be very interesting, fascinating. He will be there next season. He will start the season with PSG. He will finish it with PSG. I can, I can tell you that. He, he wants that. The club wants that. But then, obviously, the big question is, will he sign an extension between now and the end of his current contract, or will he not? They're still positive in the sense that he will sign a short one and then can go a year later, for example, let's say the summer 2023, or even maybe in the summer 2022, but with a bit more left on his contract, so PSG will get some money for him. But it's going to be fascinating to see what happens in the next few weeks. Well, you know, the, 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 again, the situation is, I'm uh, um, Kylian Mbappe, a father. I say, we have one year left. Your dream is to play for Real Madrid. Always been, and I think is still. Uh, Real Madrid has no money whatsoever to for a transfer. Why a year from uh, being f a free agent, he will sign a contract to give to for Real Madrid to spend money to get him? Because uh, I think he won't because it will never happen. The transfer will never happen because Real Madrid has no money for that. So there is no reason whatsoever for Mbappe to not go and go until the end of his contract to say bye bye to Paris Saint Germain. The, so not, uh, Mohamed uh, uh, El Khalai, if he can say whatever he wants. <laughs> Everybody sits down and wait for the end of the contract. Well, uh, Mark are reporting that he'll renew in exchange for a clause which allows him to leave for Real Madrid. A, a gentleman's agreement, if you will, but PSG mm. would not accept that. That's what the reports state. What would you do if you were Mbappe? I firstly understand why they wouldn't accept that clause, but through these conversations, talking about Messi and Mbappe, you know, we're talking about sort of the most significant players in football right now. And all these things, it just feels like a battle for leverage mm -hmm. for them as players. This is how they can gain some level of control over their destinies and so on, is to let their contracts run down. Because ultimately, if you have a contract of employment for three, four years and you say you want to go here, they'll be like, well, so what? We don't have to accept a bid. They could, they could bid a billion dollars for you. They don't have to accept it. But for these guys, knowing the fact that, say, it's crazy. I never thought this moment in history would come where Lionel Messi can essentially go wherever he wants. He is a free agent. Don't get me wrong. Not many people can afford to pay for him but he's technically a free agent and the, the ball is in his court. He can make the decisions. And the same, you can see the same thing happening to Mbappe. And in some ways, you know, it sort of, it upsets the fan base and the club where you've been before. But as a player, it's a great spot to be in. But, because but to that, you, you've to got that, the shots. To that point, Nedam, as, as much as you, you're seeing, you could see PSG not accepting that offer from, from, from Mbappe. And you're talking about leverage. Mbappe has it all. Exactly. He has all the leverage, so he can dictate uh, how, how this goes, if, if, he's, if he's that determined to move on, if he's that determined to, to, to join Real Madrid, like, he, 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 can, he can dictate the, the, the terms of, of this agreement or there not being an agreement. The only question mark that, that comes into play, and, and I don't see that being uh, significant, is with the World Cup 2022 coming up. Are you prepared to move six months before the World Cup is up? You're defending champions. Given what just happened um, a few days ago with, with the France team, is that something that is coming into Mbappe's mind? That's, and, and even that is, <laughs> is, is a pretty wild, um, is a thin branch to hold on to if, if you're PSG in trying to convince Mbappe to stay.
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.